Okay guys, welcome back again. Today, we're back with another scan tool review. Now, I haven't used this scan tool. This scan tool was sent to me, and again, six months ago, just before I stopped doing videos, with another product, which I will be showing you in another video, which isn't a scan tool. The company sent me both things and asked me to review both of them. Now this scan tool, I haven't used my actual self and I've not even opened it to see what it looks like or if how it even functions. So I can't say what features it has and what features it hasn't got. Now this is a cheap, cheap scan tool. I think this is around $70 to be precise, which is around 50 quid on Amazon. And I believe this scan tool is actually on Amazon. Now we are gonna go ahead and review it because I promised the company I would do that. And it isn't none of your highly advanced scan tools. This is probably just your basic needed scan tool. And we do have the M5 this time to actually show you how it works and what functions it can actually do. Today we will be using the M5 to do that. So let's get onto this video and let's review this new scan tool. What? God damn, get it done with you. Woo. When the blow up now, everybody's so unusual with it. Shit. But said times in his rhymes because his memories. We run into New York, so you know. Okay, so as you can see here, this is the J Diag J09088. Many of you will probably already know what the scan toy is if you've actually seen it online, or if many of you have probably already bought it. I don't know. Um, this is the first time I saw it myself. This was sent to me as a kit with another item, which isn't a scan tool, which we'll review, as I said to you in another video. I am gonna be reviewing just the scan tool today. Let's see how it all functions. I haven't used it myself, so I have no idea what it's capable of and what it ain't capable of. I can see though, on the box is a scan tool and a battery tester. So it's a two in one, we'll go ahead, we'll use it as a scan tool and we'll also see how accurate it is on the battery as well on the car. Now bearing in mind, my M5 has been sitting, so it does go into sleep mode, so the battery should be actually full and be good. We'll go ahead and test it and see how this plays out. So here it is guys, in the case, this is the J Diag. We're gonna go ahead and open it so I can see um, what's actually inside. Now, as I said, I haven't used this myself. You can see right there, this is not a scan tool I've used at all, um, but, from what I've read and from what I've seen on Amazon, it's meant to be really, really good. It's got five star reviews on this scan tool, so it must be somewhat good. Inside, you've got the scan tool right here, which again is also a battery tester. It's got a rugged feel to it, and it's also got this, which I'm not sure if that's a stand or not. Um, absolutely not sure, but it also might be a magnetic holder um, to clip it on so you can actually hold it and you'll be able to use it. It's also got a USB slot there, which looks like it's crushed in. I don't know if that's the way it's meant to be or not. And we've also got the pull. Obviously, this is your OBD port right here. You guys would have seen um, on previous scan tools that I've done. This just connects into the top of that. You've also got your data transfer lead to be able to pull it to a computer if you need to. And these will be your battery testing leads, which you'll be able to use for testing the battery. So we'll go ahead and use both of them. This is the battery tester cable that comes with the scan tool. Um, and what we're gonna do first, we'll connect up the OBD system and see how it works. We've also got all the user manuals here for both of them. So you've got the battery tester and you've also got the scan tool, it's a universal, so it can do both, which I think is really good. It's got both of them inside, which as many of you guys know, many scan tools I review don't have both of them, but this one does. Uh, it's the same kind of layout as other scan tools. Plug it into the OBD, it will power on. It uses the power from the OBD, turn itself on. Therefore, we'll go over to the car, plug it up to the M5, and we'll see what this thing can actually do. Okay guys, so as you can see here, I've now got it plugged up to the E60 M5, and you can see all the functions this device can actually do. So, as you can see, you've got read DTC, clear DTC, live data, battery, freeze frame data, IM status, that would be readiness status, ECU info, modes A and mode six, which I'm not sure what they do. So we're gonna go ahead and read DTC and let's see how well this thing connects. So let's go ahead and just read it. Now, as you can see, it doesn't give much options. What I'm trying to find out here, if this is bi-directional or if it's not. So let's see what functions it can actually do by reading the ECU. It's taking its time. I believe it's reading all the error codes. 
and we'll go to get to see if this is a P0 scanner or if this actually gives you specific BMW codes on this scan tool, which I'm probably sure is gonna give P0 code codes, but sometimes them P0 codes are actually accurate, as you would have seen on my previous video on the CG Solid. This one is exactly, be, this one will probably be exactly the same and give the same kind of error codes, but hopefully they're accurate enough to be able to find and pinpoint what faults they actually are without making people run rings around um, the car. Now, if you can see, it says linking error. So that's a linking error, verify the ignition is on, which we know it is on, everything is on. So it's having problems there, so we'll just exit. And we'll, obviously we can't seem to get the DTCs for some reason. We just click IM status and see what happens there. Now it can take a time to actually read. Now, as I said, they have put this as a scan tool and a battery tester. Um, we're gonna find out which one's actually good. I mean, to be honest with you, I've got a feeling you, when you make devices like this, only one of them is gonna be better than the other. So I've got a feeling that the battery tester itself is probably gonna be the best one on this device because scan tool itself doesn't have many options. I mean, I did say, I didn't know if it was bi-directional, but looking at the scan tool, I don't think it is bi-directional at all. It's just your normal, basic handheld scan tool, but it is a good one to actually have um, in your glove box because not only can this test the batteries, this can actually scan your codes as well. This is the kind of scan tool you would see breakdown companies really carry that will buy it cheaply just to carry with them like AA and RAC. This is the kind of scan tool they would have on them because it's cheap just to clear the trouble codes to get someone back on the move and be able to test the battery. It's all in one, so it's easy and it's cheap to actually buy. Um, I don't see this gonna be able to check anything. As you can see, they're saying another linking error, which isn't a problem on my OBD. You know, it's asking if the ignition is on, which it is. Um, most scandals can usually connect to this. This one um, doesn't seem to be able to read um, the car properly with the ignition just on. It wants you to actually have the engine on, which is not gonna happen. There's no need to have the engine on. This should be able to read with just the ignition on itself, which is not. So we are gonna unplug this because as you can see, it doesn't do much. It does do live data. It can clear your DTCs. And obviously it probably can read your fault codes, but it's gonna give you P0 codes. Whether they're accurate or not, I don't know. Live data it does do. So we're gonna go ahead and just do the battery tester and let's see how the battery tester actually plans out. And let's see if that reads more accurately than the actual scan tool itself. So as you can see guys, I now have the terminals connected to the battery for the JDiag to run the battery tester um, program. Now, if you can see, we've got all different settings since I plugged this cable in. You'll see now we've got quick, standard, start, charge, wave test, image, set up, about, and print. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is just do quick, turn off engine and press enter. So we've done that. Now we've got to select our battery, which our battery is 110 amps. So we'll go to here. Now we'll run testing and we'll do before charging. And you can see there it's 100%. So that is my battery, and you can see there, it's showing absolutely accurate, because that's how my battery should be, because this car's always in sleep mode. Now, if we do standard, we can do a start test, we can do an image test, a charge test, and a wave test. Now, to be honest, this seems to provide every function, so if we go to wave test, you can see there, it's doing a wave test. So if I was to start the car and crank it, you would see the wave absolutely change, based on the fact that it will do a cranking test, cold start test and everything else on the wave test, you'll be able to see how good the battery is. Um, that's a charge test, so obviously you need to do a charging test, so you could just run that on here. And as I did say to you, problem with these companies, they try and make an all-in-one and it ends up being that only one thing on their device will end up working, whatever it is that they created before, which by the sounds of it and by the looks of it, this device was a battery tester before a scan tool. So you can see here, it will tell you testing after charging is low. That's because we haven't actually charged it. So it's gonna say that I haven't charged it at all, but it all reads accurately. So the battery tester function on this actually works better than the scan tool itself. So if you guys are in the market for a scan tool that can do both, but just bear in mind, it might not do both when you get it, just like it did on the M5 then this is probably the one for you because I know a lot of you want a battery tester. Some of you want a scan tool. Well, this one can actually do it all, but do bear in mind, you might get it. And if the scan tool system might actually work on your car, if you don't have a BM, then the scan tool function might be 
perfect for your car. If you've got a Honda, Toyota, it will read everything you need to do, but this will also test your battery as and when needed as well and be able to give you all them different options. And as you can see, it does give you a lot more options when you change over the leads. Okay, guys. So as you would have seen, I have now reviewed the JDiag j 9088 Now this is meant to be a scan tool and battery tester, but as you guys know, I plugged it into the car and the scan tool system didn't work. Now the battery tester system did work. So as I said to you, I am gonna class this as a battery tester and probably keep it as a battery tester just for myself. Maybe the scan tool system would actually work on the Porsche, I'm not sure. It's just on the M5, it didn't read. Now that ain't a good thing. And as many of you guys know, I know what I'm doing with these. The ignition was fully on and this should have read. Every other scan to I connect up the same way always works. Just this one didn't get a read on it. Which tells me this isn't really for your high tech cars like the M5 and the BMs. This is mostly for your Toyotas, Hondas, Porsches. Just a very simple basic scan tool that somebody wants for a very basic car. It's not for advanced cars like this. This isn't gonna do ADAS systems. This isn't going to do maintenance reset system. This isn't going to do nothing, as you would have seen there. It didn't give you many options at all. So do bear that in mind when you're actually buying it. If you do want a battery test and just something to keep in your glove box, something that's cheap, then this scan tool is probably for you that you can keep in your glove box. And if it was to get lost, destroyed, broken, stolen, then you haven't lost too much money. Many of you guys know I usually review very, very expensive scan tools. And I'm trying to do cheap ones, which are very affordable because of the way everything is in the world right now. So these are more affordable and in reach for many other people who just need a scan tool to be able to do certain functions. Many of you would have seen I've done battery tester videos. I've got a load of different battery testers from Top Don. And this one is actually in par with the rest. This one actually reads, it can do what it needs to do. Check your battery. So therefore, if you do want this, go and get it. As I said, don't expect no expectations from the scan tool itself. But as I said, it may work on your car when you go to buy it, you might get a read on it and all your fault codes might actually show up. Um, so therefore, I will link it in my comments below and try and link it in my description below with all my other scan tools. Thank you very much for watching guys. This was a review by Jay Diag, and I've also got another product of theirs I will be reviewing, which isn't a scan tool. Thank you very much guys and goodbye.